What's going on everybody? My name is Paul. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Welcome to the Club. I can't remember which episode this is. This is like six? Maybe seven? Somewhere around there. So in the last episode we were leading into giving our poems to everybody. Um, I accidentally already gave my poem to three of the people. Um, Sasuke, the chick with the pink hair, she was upset that I hadn't made it towards Yuri, so she didn't even show me her poem. Then I showed it to Monica, and she noticed that I really liked Yuri stuff. Um, and Yuri, of course, you know, she loved it, and she actually gave me a poem. It was about this ghost. She was talking about how she was cold and lonely before, and pretty much I'd warm her, warm. Sorry, I have this guy, my AC unit out back went out, and um, the fan's not spinning or something like that. <laughs> so uh, he just came up and I forgot what I was saying. Something I think already. I forgot where I was. So he's probably gonna come up in the middle of my recording again. But I tell you what, man, I live in Florida. Can't go without AC. It, I mean, it's it's February right now, and it's already starting to get hot. It is February. AC is like something that you can't live without. I can't even imagine because in northern states, like everybody doesn't even have central air condition, uh, central heating and air conditioning, or I mean, even here we have window units and stuff like that. But uh, up in some places, they just open up windows and let the wind cool them down. Like, no way, man. No way. No way could I ever do that. Anyways, so like I said, told you about the last three poems. Also, this game is the only game that gives me these issues in my whole short YouTube career of, you know, what, half a year or whatever, I've never had an issue where I'm recording, I hit record, and it just records a static screen. It's weird. It, I've never had this problem with OBS, and I've streamed, I've recorded, it's just weird. Anyways, so, we got those three out of the way, this is the important one. I'm glad, dude, I would have been upset if we missed this one, because Sayori is the one that we're kind of worried about right now, you know, things got, things got a little weird. So, um, what button did I just hit? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and look at Sayori and see how she's doing. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> hmm, it's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. Man, the last episode, dude, the episode that I made before this that didn't get recorded was so happy. It was so happy and now I feel like we're just it's gonna be sad after sad I said hey man I think we dipped you know as low as we're gonna go but hey this episode was pretty high ends up that didn't record isn't that life though that little bit of fleeting happiness whew, it's gone let's get right back down into the muck I fucking guess you don't need to worry about what I think after all you wrote Say worry, man. After all, you wrote this poem for someone else, didn't you? Probably your. <laughs> ah. Eh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I would hope. Oh. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club. Well. Of course I am. Good. That's all that matters. Thank you, Paul. Sayori. Is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <sighs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything, Sayori. Just tell me if you need anything, Sayori. Speak to me. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with it. You can go play with everyone else now. <sighs> if you insist, yay. I'm gonna go home a little early today. They worry? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, I didn't even get a reader poem! Before I can say anything, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Okay. Alright, shit. We really had to miss the happy episode, huh? <sighs> okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't you start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Eh? 
Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from the usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? And so yeah, I'm wondering the same. Usually I never agree with you, but you know what? You're right this time, you dumb bitch. It is weird. Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. You're such a fucking bitch. Stagnant air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Why am I going off at her? This doesn't even make any sense. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah. It seems you're right. Die. Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone else, everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyways? I thought she went to pee. Atsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to go home, uh, of all the times to not go home with her, you pick uh, the time she's not feeling well. What do you want me to do? I got other shit to go. Natsuki, just shut your fucking mouth. Shut your mouth. So much for you two being all lovey dovey. I was never all lovey dovey with her, you stupid bitch. Stupid bitch! I know. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, shut your dumb mouth. He's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Ooh. <laughs> curious expression coming from Yuri of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? <laughs> what did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival's preparations. So, he just straight up said, fuck you, dude. Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. All you can do, you dumb bitch. At least you're good for something. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, you know, I'm just going to boss people around probably and tell them what to do. I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Theory will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, can, you can, uh, um, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? Damn, Monica. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I'm useless. No, that's not it at all. You're the, <laughs> you're the most talented person here, you know. Now Natsuki's pounding too? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, that may be the case. Maybe I should just go and get her now. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have a beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make the banners and decorations to help set up the atmosphere. Atmosphere? <laughs> Don't know what atmosphere means, Yuri? Um, about that. I, I love atmosphere. What a weird statement. I also love atmosphere? Okay, Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyways, that just leaves you, Paul. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. Natsuki, fuck you, dude. You could always help me out as well. Oh, fuck. I would really appreciate it. Oh, shit. That's... Is Monica suggesting I spin... Shit. Well, dude, how funny would it fucking be if I chose Natsuki? That would actually be pretty fucking funny. It'd actually be funny if I chose Monica, too, because you can't really write a poem towards her. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Or maybe I should spin it with Sayori. Oh man, I actually do kind of want to spend it with Sayori just because, I mean, I know that she's not my love interest or anything, but <sighs> how on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Ah, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. Yeah, I'm right, Natsuki. I like the way you think. It's not like Monica is going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyways. 
Natsuki tried to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. <laughs> Clap back, bitch. Ooh, bitch. 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 Paul may not be, uh, not, may not like to be around you if you only make him out to be a nuisance. Hmm. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyways? Now this is, this gets my nips hard. This right here, fight over me ladies. Ooh, anime ladies slash dudes fighting over me? <sighs> Nothing gets my nipples harder than that shit. Sounds more to me just like making excuses for Paul to, what are you saying? I gotta see somebody's dick. Ooh, I'm right here at a blah. We about to see somebody gonna fucking dick today. Not that I want to. I'm not gay or anything, but you know, I've already played this whole game. It'll be extremely meticulous work, and baking isn't just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. He'll come home and flip my bean. In the end, I think it's up to Paul to decide who he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? Shit, man. Shit. 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 So I'm sure he's interested in, you literally just said, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Paul, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Looks, what? Everyone looks straight, looks straight at me. Of course I'm going with the end we'll find out in the next episode because that is all the time that I have for this one I am running late as is I'm sure this uh, air conditioning guy is about to be back at any time and honestly I'm going to sit and think on this I'm pretty I don't know I really don't know who I want to go with Natsuki would be funny Yuri's my go-to girl Monica I feel like there's something deeper with her just because it doesn't let you write poems for her and Sayori of course I'm scared for so we'll think about this and we'll come back to it next time anyways if you like the video please hit me with a thumbs up <laughs> Drop me a comment down below. Let me know who you think I should choose. But by the time the other episodes come out, I'll have already chosen. But I'd still like to hear from you. And if you have a reason why, let me know. Um, and if you like this video and want to see more of what I'm doing in the future and more of my live videos, go ahead and subscribe to me. And if you already are subscribed to me, I really appreciate it. I, it just means a lot to me for you guys that are keeping up with my series and watching my live streams. And even the people, you know, my friends who I've been live streaming with and making videos with, that means a lot to me too. And you guys make these series worth it. And I really do just appreciate it. Um, so anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.